There's an update on some of the stuff I've done to the machine. Um, I've since added a water table. You can see here, um, I made it to where I can move it in and out. Um, so basically it's on wheels and uh, I can roll it back out, move the material on and push it back in. Um, it's made it a little bit easier just because I don't have much space and also um, you can adjust the material and put different things on there without having to lift it up and over the railing. Um, and also my, my floor of uh, the garage is not flat so I had to put it on some jack stands like this um, but the table's not too heavy so whenever I need to roll it back out I just lift it off of there and roll it back out. Um, I can drain the water in and out of the table um, because I have this barrel here and I calculated out obviously the volume of the table uh, fits well within the, the volume of the barrel. Um, how do I pump it in and out? I just use air pressure. Um, it's kind of a rough setup right now because I haven't uh, made it a, a bracket for it. Um, to lift the water in and out you need around 0 0.5 bars or so. Um, that's what I have it set to and it's well, it's enough um, to lift it in and out without it splashing everywhere. It's also, um, you know, when you pressurize the, the barrel here, you don't want it too much or else the, it'll blow up like a balloon. Um, and I sealed it uh, basically at the bottom. Uh, I just threaded that out and, or I threaded the, the hole here, screwed it in, the fitting, and then RTV'd, uh, siliconed all of the holes where air or water might possibly come out. Uh, same deal here. Um, it's just a fitting that goes into there that I threaded and then RTV'd it to make sure. And I don't have any leaks so far and it seems to be working pretty well. I can fill the whole table in about 10 minutes, I, I would say. And in the future, there's the hole there, the drain, drain hole. In the future, I'll put like some kind of strain over it where stuff won't get in. So I cut some stuff yesterday and I'm about to open this back up here so that we can drain the drain the water table out. And obviously you want to have a fitting on here to where the air will come out so that uh, the water will flow then back down from the table into the barrel. And I also put a camera on here um, for the torch head. So basically uh, from my computer upstairs I can connect uh, through a remote desktop to this computer and control the machine from upstairs. Um, it's not the most uh, stable connection because I just connected for Wi-Fi. But if you were to connect with uh, an Ethernet cable for example it would probably work pretty well. And I use the, the camera app rather than the, the app in Mach 3 um, just because the picture is a little clearer. But, and I usually put like a small window down in the remote desktop computer and you can kind of see it driving around while having the Mach 3 screen open. I also added this monitor here that I can move around so that I can be on the other side of the table and still see what's going on. And with this uh, configuration you can see the, the mock screen a lot better. The numbers are bigger for example. Um, I also added some fans um, in here. Basically they're just PC fans. Well there's just one fan actually. So I pull pull the air from the bottom to the top so that all the you know obviously heat rises so I pull it out from the top and then down there at the bottom is the filter. Um, the PC box I added just you know to protect the computer that's inside uh, from dust or you know whatever sparks may be flying um, while I'm grinding doing other projects. And here's some stuff that I cut yesterday on the table. So you can see there's, it's like looks really dirty and this is basically the small dust particles that are starting to rust. Um, in the future I want to find some kind of um, solution to where it's like antifreeze or some kind of stuff to where it won't rust as bad. But for now that's what I have. And it does cut down on the noise but the one thing, the, one, the biggest improvement of the water table is obviously the dust. Before I was having a lot of dust flying out from the machine um, during cutting and now it's minimal. He's 
there's hardly any dust that comes out uh, from the table during cutting. And so I would say that's probably the biggest improvement. Um, obviously one thing to consider if you're doing, well, you should do it anyway, but you need to ground the table. In my case, obviously I have rubber wheels, so it's really important that I ground the table to um, the actual plasma machine. So you can see here, I have a ground going from the table to the top of the machine, which is then grounded to my uh, the house. Um, <clears throat> and that's also really important if you're running a uh, torch height control. So my torch height control is over there. It's just a promo. And yeah, works pretty well. Pretty happy with it. So that's the upgrades so far.